very fond of saying cute things when asked questions about them. Hmm? Raising his finger and stuff. What does the master do? He cuts off the raised thing. Hmm? And he screams and runs away, the master calls him back. And when he comes back, what does the master do? And in that instant, the boy is immediately What's this about? A couple of things. First, gurus, monks, teachers have been conventionally known to be very compassionate people. So it shocks us a little that a teacher cuts off a boy's finger. Right? Then I do just illustrates that for the teacher it is not your body that counts. The teacher would not be shaken even a little if you tell him that you are tired or that there is pain in your stomach, the teacher will say, so what? Your body doesn't matter. Come on. It's about something far bigger than the body. Even if you have to compromise on your health, still come on. The teacher will not allow you to escape. For the teacher, cutting off the boy's finger was a very obvious thing if cutting off the finger would lead to the boy gaining some wisdom. The teacher says, it's such a beautiful deed. It is not at all bad for the boy if he can give a finger, sacrifice a finger and be wise in return. It's okay. And it's not only about a finger. Even giving your right hand is no big deal. Even laying down your life is no big deal. Because what you are getting is much, much bigger than life. It is immortality. Your <coughs> finger is just a token payment. It's not even a full payment. Okay, give me a finger. Fine. That is one thing about the koan. The second thing, what does the master mean by raising his finger? What does the master mean by raising his own finger? It should be one way hmm? And that one is personified in the form of the Guru, the teacher. If the student tries to emulate that one, he is trying to create an alternate, a duplicate truth. And that is sacrilege. That cannot be tolerated. After he comes back, the Guru tells him, listen, if the finger were to be raised, if the finger were to indicate one, that finger has to be a single finger belonging to the teacher. By cutting off your finger, I am only cutting off the false finger. I am only cutting off that which was trying to compete with the truth. By raising this finger, I am telling you that only the truth prevails. That which is false gets cut off. 
and surely the student is a deserving student. He immediately gets, in an instant, without thinking, without interpreting, he immediately gets the import of what the teacher is saying. And that's what is meant by saying that he gets immediately enlightened. Hmm? The raised finger of the Guru is the one truth, the one truth that bears no comparison, no second, no alternative. 